So Mark, first of all, thanks for asking this question. I want you to comment below. Let me know what you think is the biggest hurdle for people starting businesses on Amazon. Mark F asked, what do you believe is the biggest hurdle for new entrepreneur entering into the Amazon FBA business? I'm gonna give you two specific answers that are gonna be addressing your point. One that directly answers it and one that goes even beyond that. So the first one that directly answers it, the biggest hurdle with people starting business on Amazon. It's not the process. It's not about leveraging Amazon as a platform to grow an e-commerce business and gain that initial traction or the audience. It's not even about the marketing or the ad dollars you need to spend to be able to drive traffic to your listing on Amazon and be able to convert those into sales. The biggest thing that holds you back is understanding what is the right pain point and the audience that you're selling to. So there's so many different products on Amazon right now. There's a, they get a ton of traffic, people buying the product. And also in the same space, since there's like the amazing selling machine, there's all these people selling business opportunities on how to grow and start a drop shipping business on Amazon, which is the biggest thing that's gonna hold you back is actually the competition, right? There's so many different products on Amazon. How do you decide the right product to be able to sell it to your target audience and actually build a successful business around that doesn't actually hinder your success in the long term? So that's one of the things that you want to decide on, not just on the short term selling on Amazon, but you want to find the audience that you're selling to and what problem you're solving for them. You want to find a product that solves a problem. Do not sell a commodity based product. I have a, um, an entrepreneur now that I recall, a friend that actually sell, he does about I think 15 or $20 million and he sells glow sticks on Amazon. He dominates the entire space. He got into it really early. He does drop shipping. His margins are really low, but he does extremely well selling glow sticks. Now, Right now, at this point in time, he's actually trying to pass off the business, he's trying to sell the business because he himself is know, knowing that Amazon is changing their algorithms, it's all dropping right now. How can he stay competitive with glow sticks when there's all these different other products that people basically use to party, right? People buy glow sticks because they're either camping or they're using it at a rave or some kind of party or some kind of event that involves like doing flashy uh, glow sticks and stuff. But he's built a successful business around it for a couple of years and now he's transitioning out because it's, you can't stay competitive with something that's a commodity that people can get for a few cents off China and bring it back to Amazon to fulfill. So that's the first thing is, what is the audience that you're selling? What is the problem that you're solving? Pick a product that actually solves that specific part that's not as competitive to what everyone else is doing because there's people entering the space just like you. So you gotta be able to figure out what is that differentiator for you and your business, to your target audience, the copy, the images. And this goes into the second point that I wanna tell you is going beyond that. If you're doing Amazon FBA, if you're doing e-commerce, don't focus, understand that Amazon is just a distribution channel. It's just a way for you to leverage that to either build a bigger brand or use it to sell a product. The long-term goal is how do you build that to your own platform, whether that be on Shopify, on WooCommerce, or on Pure, Pure, uh, Pure Shopping Cart, or whatever the other name was. But all these different e-commerce shopping carts, which I recommend uh, Shopify, how do you actually build a brand around that? What are the values that you associate with your target audience? How do you drive the traffic to your website? How do you both convert those and start the communication process with your target audience? And then how do you convert those into actual sales, both in the short term and also in the long term? Because you gotta keep in mind, it doesn't matter what business you're in, 60 to 80% of your audience is never gonna transact with you on the first month or the first few weeks that they discover about you. They need multiple different touch points. So you gotta consider what is the long-term brand for your e-commerce business. Don't look at just this part, understand the whole roadmap, and then reverse engineer and use Amazon as the launching platform for you, which a lot of people have started using FBA on Amazon, created a small brand using one product, and then a few complementary products, and then they expand it outside of Amazon. Because Amazon right now, they're, it's extremely competitive on there, they control the whole process, it's very hard to compete. So you wanna make sure that you think outside of Amazon as well in the long term. So let's just give you some context into answering your question. I wanna give you some more additional stuff. If you got value from that, I want you to comment below first and let me know uh, what insights or value that you got, what questions you guys have related to e-commerce. And uh, I hope you got value from this and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. So make sure you also like this video and also subscribe and click that bell icon because if you guys click that bell icon, you'll be able to get notifications on future videos that are coming out just like this on Digital Secrets and other stuff that we're gonna be recording for you guys. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.